We did a short video a little while back talking about clamping down a piece and you can get to a point to where, which this is just for example, this is not strong enough piece to bend the table. But we were talking about pieces where when you bend, go to clamp them down, you will actually bend the table because the piece is stronger than the table. And when you're bent, uh, putting it down, it uh, causes binding in the machine. It'll actually bind up the machine. Now, one of the things that was suggested, which is good a lot of times, and whether you're having a trouble with bending or whether it's just a matter of having the piece in its native state, is you can block up underneath it. Wedges is one way you can do that. You can do it with shims. Um, really be a nuisance on something that's as messed up as this piece here. What you would generally do is you would get it close enough so that you had one good side and then once you had one good side with minimum amount of, anytime you're clamping this down something's going to bend a little bit and that's part of, part of what you got to understand with all of this stuff, even strong heavy things are springs. Everything is rigid, everything's flexible, everything bends, everything's a spring. Everything to some extent is everything, but um, you, you have to control between all of that. Is it something that springs or something that bends? And when it's something that springs, if you don't have it bedded solidly, when you release it, it will make a new shape. Even if you machine this flat, when you release it, it would become not flat again. Another thing too is when you're clamping on it, Let's say that this is a perfectly, uh, perfectly solid piece here, real rigid. We can still bend our table if we come out here a long ways away. If we come a long ways away, we've got all this pressure here and we have a blank out here. If we had a long, we're uh, putting pressure just between our block. Let me grab a longer so it makes more sense. We can have bigger things to show. We don't have to do just that, but say we use a long block on here and it is going to be putting quite a bit of bending potentially in the table in the middle if we were really ramp romping it down with a big heavy bolt. It doesn't have to be that it's not matching to the table, just the forces, you can see this right here. You'd be pulling the table tight here and these two here not tight. It would bow the table up that way. So if you have a whole bunch of clamps, big clamps on something, even if it's fitting the table well, you can still bend the table. So you have to watch out for that. Now, general procedure, generally the best thing, put your clamp as close as you can. Put your hold down bolt as close to it as you can. Now you see where we don't have any leverage here. We've got a lot of leverage advantage here. It would be hard to bend the table with that close to your part and you get a lot more clamping force. And you look at your leverage here. There's not that much, it can't bend much in between this quarter inch space where when you have it, your clamp way back, sometimes you can't put them right up there. Also again, everything is a spring. If you don't need this clamp super tight, you don't need to put it super tight. Put more clamps on sometimes and keep in mind how to balance everything out. And a lot of that is the feel that you get from doing this stuff for decades. And I say about a decade to really get a good feel for it. You can get the knowledge. You can pick up the knowledge. Sometimes if you're sharpening it, you can pick up the knowledge in two years as far as the basic knowledge. But to get the feel for it, uh, it takes 10 years. It really does of watching things bend versus cut versus getting stopped rigid. And uh, yeah, a little bit on clamping and a little bit did. I wanted to make it more clear than the short did that it's not just about whether the part, you know, because I was talking about the part being bowed and the part, which was a heavy part, causing the table to bend as you clamped it down. A lot of people said, well, you could shim it, which is correct for the part to make the part better. But you still, if you're not clamping it correctly, you can still get a bending in the, in the uh, table, even if this fits down perfect. I wanted to make that clear.